Will it be difficult to receive consumer feedback without a large consumer base? No, I think, of course, we have to develop the markets. We have to de develop the markets so solar cells and other solar uh, appliances should go to the roof to uh, harvest sun energy and to supply electricity. And so it is uh, not only a matter of R&D, of good industry, uh, industry projects, the uh, public sector has to be educated so this, these kind of energy production enters into the market. And why did you choose Singapore? Oh, this is an exciting place. <laughs> And uh, the uh, Singapore government, especially EDB, is very much dedicated to solar energy. They got in a lot of industry. I think six to seven billion Sing dollars will be invested on the island during the next year. And this is an ideal place to set up a uh, research institute. And I had it a big research institute in Europe, but in Europe you have to retire at 65. So I looked for another chance and then EDB came and made me a good offer and this is why I'm here. What markets in the region do you expect to grow most rapidly? Yeah, I think uh, we need electricity. I think this is a moment most, or it's very demanding to have a renewable energy source, a carbon-free source for electricity, and this will be solar cells. We scientists call it photovoltaics. Mm -hmm. And the second market, as I see it, will be solar and energy efficient buildings, because a lot of energy, electricity as well, is used in buildings, and so we have to reduce the energy consumption of buildings without reducing the comfort or even increasing the comfort. And this could be done, for example, by new air conditioning system, not running on electricity, but running on solar heat or on waste heat. And new windows, more energy efficient windows for, for buildings, new facades, solar uh, and energy efficient facades. So this will be uh, the biggest market. And if you go to a countries like Malaysia or Indonesia, I think the off-grid electricity supply, so where there are no cables, no grids, this will be also a big market and it will be essential to bring electricity to rural areas and this could be done easily through uh, solar cells. And uh, did you get a lot of financial incentive to start up here over a larger market, say China? Uh, the uh, you need at the mo at the beginning you need financial incentives to make the market growing, but this is only necessary for some years, in order to have a mass market mass production. Because with mass production you bring the uh, cost down, and cost is uh, is still an issue in in solar energy, and in many countries you have these schemes like for example feed in tariff or other subsidies. And I'm sure this will be installed in many countries here in the region. We have it already in Japan, we have it in California, we have it in Germany, in Spain, Korea is coming. And I think by and by most countries uh, will uh, embark into such a strategy to uh, uh, help to transform our electricity systems towards sustainability in due time. So speed matters and this is why it is justified to uh, give subsidies or install feed-in tariffs. Okay. And do you foresee problems from the oil and gas industry in hindering your growth? No, I do not think so. I think the big uh, uh, energy industry, they will transform theirself, uh, themselves because they, they would like to sell energy and be in the energy supply business and I, I'm sure they will transform themselves and go uh, towards green electricity production or solar electricity production. A good example is, for example, BP, British Petrol and Shell. Mm -hmm. They both have strongly embarked into these technologies. Do you have any plans to solarize uh, Singapore's buildings, especially the Housing Development Board? Yeah, I'm already in, in discussion with the Housing uh, and Development Board, or I should phrase it in another way. They contacted me because they are really active in uh, to green their buildings. We had a meeting yesterday, actually, and uh, so they will focus on it, I'm, I'm very sure. And of course, we have to help them. And uh, the best way in doing this is to help the industry to foster mass production and if you have mass production the cost will go down and then it will be uh, uh, worthwhile for uh, HDB and others 
to, uh, to employ uh, solar electricity generation on their houses, uh, on their land areas and so forth. Thank you very much, Mr. Luther.